Hello and welcome back. We are in our final installment of at least the formulas for calculating numerical, well, numerically calculating psychometric properties for moist air. And we've come to the point where we're now on the topic of the dew point temperature. So let me remind you of what the sequence started with. We started with the assumption that we knew these three values. The dry bulb temperature, which is the temperature you would normally associate with a thermometer outside. The wet bulb temperature, which is described in another video that I have. And the total pressure, which you'd measure, measure with a barometer. And with those pieces of information, we were already able to derive a formula for these five important parameters for psychrometrics. The specific humidity ratio, omega, mu, the degree of saturation, relative humidity, specific volume, and enthalpy. And we're on our last major property, which is the dew point temperature. So it's worth going over the strict definition for what the dew point temperature is. Let's just imagine that I have a control volume or a blob of air, and it has a given total pressure and a specific humidity ratio. And this is typically not thought of, a, it's not at saturation. So if you put more moisture into this air sample, it would continue to accept it. Now if we started to cool this air sample, so we don't allow, we don't allow any moisture to leave or enter the system here and we don't change the total pressure. So we're not changing the number of molecules in this sample. All, if all we do is send heat out of this and reduce the temperature, we, it keeps going down and down. Initially, this was at some temperature and you keep dropping and dropping and dropping it. Eventually, you'll get to a point where this air sample can no longer hold moisture and you are at saturation and that temperature which you get to that is the dew point temp so in a more f formula way of looking at it it's the solution to the following equation it's the specific humidity ratio at saturation given a total pressure and this dew point temperature it's when this, when this calculation is equal to the specific humidity of your sample, of the sample, or your, the thing you're working with. So how do we go about calculating this? Well, one thing that we'll need initially is we're going to use our handy formula that we've derived earlier for specific humidity ratio, and we, and that's relating the partial pressures of the sample 0.622 partial pressure of the vapor over the total pressure minus the partial pressure of the vapor this is a important formula for us and it was derived because we assume that our air sample was an ideal gas so this is useful in its own right but for the calculation of dew point temperature it's actually more important for us to solve for this parameter the partial pressure of vapor because in this process that we just defined here as defining the dew point temperature, this term is constant and this term is constant. So let's go ahead and do a little algebra and solve for the partial pressure of vapor. So what I'm going to do is take this bottom term here and I'm going to multiply both sides by it and so I and I'm going to distribute out right away. I get omega times the total pressure minus omega times the partial pressure of vapor and that's still equal to the numerator of that fraction and if I now move this to the other side that becomes a positive and I pull out the PV that ends up being like this and that's still equal to omega times the total pressure and I would just need to divide both sides by this term in parentheses and so you get something that looks like the partial pressure of vapor is equal to omega times the total pressure divided by 0.622 plus omega. 
So in this process we described above, we knew that the saturation omega and the sample omega are the same. So these are equivalent. And what's the only thing we can change here is the partial pressure of vapor. And so what we'll actually be doing is we're going to try and find the case where the partial pressure of vapor of your sample, as I said before, is equal to the partial pressure at saturation. So the most accurate way to solve this is to go ahead and get out a, a textbook or something where people have done experiments and they know the saturation pressure of vapor versus temperature and they have these things listed just let me reiterate this fact that these are all equivalent so what you can do is we can go ahead and we have this information for our sample we calculate out a, a partial pressure and then we can come over to this table that is describing saturated water saturated vapor properties and we go ahead and we go find where that pressure exists and so as T sat goes up the partial pressure at saturation goes up and with that we can figure out whatever we would find in that table would be the dew point temperature. Now that's all and good, but what we wanted is we want a way to do this numerically. We can't have a human in the loop to go ahead and look at this table. So it'd be better and more straightforward for us if we had some sort of equation. And there are all sorts of approximations to this process, and so I'm only going to give one, the one that's given in the ASHRAE fundamentals. Now this is going to be similar to when we were solving for the partial pressure of, of or the saturation pressure of water given a temperature. Here we're going to have dew point temperature as a function of the partial pressure of vapor. And it's going to be a polynomial equation with the natural log in it and so I'm going to write it out quickly for the range of zero dew point is less than 90 this would be a uh, unlivable condition so basically any any condition above zero degrees C that we'll see this is the formula that you need to calculate dew point in SI units Okay, so I've written out this long equation, and you may be wondering, well, you told me it was a function of the partial pressure of the vapor. Well, this alpha, this mysterious alpha term, that's simply the natural log of the partial pressure of vapor. And this equation assumes that you have partial pressure of vapor in units of kilopascal and temperatures in degrees C. Now, as an engineer or scientist, it should pain you to be using these non, well they have units associated with them but they're a little opaque unless you really dig into them and this equation has some very strange exponent 0 0.1984 what is that but all in all basically this is an approximation to the process that we would have done with a table and there's other equations you can go find for dew point temperature that may be simpler to this but they're all approximations in one sense or the other. If you are, if your dew point temperature is less than zero degrees C, we have a different formula, and that would be the dew point temperature is equal to six squared. And so we have two formulas. And at this point, we can very easily solve for the dew point temperature given the partial pressure of vapor. And for us, that came from knowing the 
humidity ratio that we had of our sample along with the total pressure. So fairly straightforward. So that ends all the different properties. And in the next videos, we're going to show an example of actually doing the calculations so that you can verify that this all works and all makes sense. So see you in the next videos.